What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're continuing on with our lawn maintenance checklist slash playlist for you guys. Uh, today we're going to go over overseeding and uh, just how I do it. This is my opinion. It's I'm not a pro, but this is how I've always done it and I've had great success with it. If you're interested in how I do it, stay tuned. All right guys, so what we're going to do is I'm going to talk over uh, some video that I'm going to roll in here and we're going to talk about a couple different ways that this can be done. So uh, it, of course the best time to overseed is in the fall um, so that the seeds have time to germinate and then they basically go dormant in the winter and then they'll come through fresh in the spring. If you're impatient like me, you are also able to overseed in the fall or in the spring. Um, they will not, the grass will kind of be setting up and starting to come through May, June timeframe, and it leaves them to be a little bit vulnerable to that summer drought. So this is an area where you're probably going to have to water it through the summer to keep it going to make sure that summer drought doesn't kill off that fresh grass. So there are many different ways to go about overseeding. Uh, you can do a couple different things. What we're going to do today is we're going to dethatch. We have the, the, uh, the ability to have a dethatcher. So we're going to dethatch the little side yard in front of the garden shed. Um, we're going to then, uh, we're going to then rake it away and then we're going to overseed. So dethatching is uh, basically tines that break up the undergrowth in the grass. So while you're watching this video here, it's really no rhyme or reason on how you go about dethatching. Um, you can do it in any way, shape, or form as long as you get every area. I go over the areas twice. Um, that, that basically gets rid of all that dead grass and all that cut grass that you have cut in your couple of lawn mowings. It allows that to be pulled up out of the grass roots. So this creates a great place for the grass seed to sit and basically germinate and grow. So another point that comes when I say germinate is you do not want to do this anytime uh, within six weeks of your fertilizing. So fertilizer will uh, basically keep the ger or keep the grass seed from germinating. So if you uh, if you're fertilizing in the early spring, you want to make sure that you are waiting six weeks before you overseed, and then after you overseed, you want to make sure you wait six weeks before you do it again. So. I did my original uh, fertilizing in the early spring, I think it was early March, and it is now the middle of May, so I have uh, waited over a month to do this. And then I will wait until it is time to apply my summer lawn food in the middle of June, July timeframe. So just to let you know that, that fertilizer will keep your grass seeds from germinating, keep that in mind. So once you have the area dethatched, or some people can just rake it, if you don't even wanna rake it, there are plenty of products out there that allow uh, the opportunity, they come mixed in with uh, grass or hay, uh, and you basically just spread it out. Those, those are quick patch um, kits and stuff like that. So I have a couple thin areas here, I'll show you in the video, where uh, the grass just isn't growing. It's coming in kind of thin and sparse, and for whatever reason, it's just not coming in right. So uh, those are the areas that I focused and went over with the dethatcher a couple times to get them really broken up. So, of course, this is after you already have an established lawn, this process. Um, if you are starting fresh with a brand new lawn and you have no, uh, basically no grass growing, you're definitely going to want to till up the yard. You're going to want to lay your grass seed and then, and then uh, till it up again, get that grass seed down in the soil. And then you'll want to over, uh, basically cover it with hay and then water it often. So it's a totally different process. This is strictly just overseeding. So uh, now I'm going to set up my, my grass seeder. Uh, I usually seed on five or six on a rotary sprayer or a rotary spreader. Um, this is what I'm using now is a walk behind rotary spreader. Um, I, I, right now I have it set on six. Uh, six is usually what I do it on. Um, five on a hand spreader, six on a walk behind. And in this small area of about 30 by 40, 
I'm spreading two pounds of grass seed. So uh, I usually just do a cross hatch pattern and allow it to basically overlap every way I can to make sure that I didn't miss anything. So once I do this, uh, you, you really want to time this right with the uh, water coming in naturally. Maybe it's going to rain in the next couple days. Uh, in the forecast, it has set up for the next three days there's going to be rain. But it's also a good idea to go ahead and water in that grass seed. So uh, I set up a sprinkler uh, and just have it on full and going back and forth. I will water it in for about an hour or about uh, a half to a three quarter inch of rain coverage on the entire area. Now the rest will be taken care of by mother nature of course and I'll let it rain over the next three days. So I'll be careful to tread on this area and not really beat it down all that much and then hopefully in June July time frame we'll see some nice hardy grass that is uh, absolutely awesome when you cut it down and it fills in all of those dead areas. So um, I don't have anything else to say about the video. If you have any questions or concerns on overseeding, it's really not that difficult. I really just, uh, uh, you know, uh, rough up those areas, get it ready to go, let the, the grass seed um, lay down in the grass, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. Um, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. If you have any questions, be sure to put them in the comments. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, I'd appreciate that subscription, and we'll see you guys in the next video.